This is Two Minutes to Virtue, the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. St. Therese of Lisieux, the little flower, has this beautiful image, and she said that she was content to be a small little flower in the, the garden of the church and not some big and beautiful rose because she said if everyone was a rose, then springtime would lose its splendor, that the, the diversity of all the flowers, big and small, were what made up the beauty of the church and the communion of the saints. What a great way to enter into this gospel for this week, the parable of the talents. The master in this parable gives his servants a different amount, each according to his own ability. But it really matters not how much they're given, but rather what they do with what they're given. Just like Therese, you know, she knew she was small. She knew in a worldly sense she didn't have a whole lot of skills. She wasn't going to run a Fortune 500 company or do something like that or be the you know, ruler of France. No, she was content to simply be love in the heart of the church because she knew that the real power that she was given was divine grace. And that with each little act done with a tremendous amount of love, done from a place of a heart completely, completely united to the Lord, well, that made even the smallest amount something tremendous. Even if it was just one talent she was given, it mattered not because really the real power was that divine grace, giving a tremendous amount of beauty to the world when done with, even the small things done with love. And so that's the challenge for this week. We all have got that thing, or that small daily thing that we just don't like doing. The challenge is to think of one person every day you can offer that up for, to make that little act of virtue, that little daily task, an act of love. Thank you for listening to Two Minutes to Virtue, produced by the Catholic Diocese of Arlington. We hope this episode helped to bring this week's gospel to life and inspires you to grow in Christian virtue and love of sacred scripture today and always. To stay up to date on when Two Minutes to Virtue releases, be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening to the podcast or text 2M2V to 84576. Also, don't forget to join our public Two Minutes to Virtue Facebook group for additional content and discussion. God bless.